Today, I'm smoking some mead. Let's get started. So in today's video, I have stumbled across the newest thing for cocktails as I've seen on Amazon and other places. And that is these like smoker things for your home. Essentially, they give you this smoker top with a little funnel or a grate, some wood chips, you put it on top of your glass, put some wood chips in, use a butane lighter, which you never used one, it's pretty cool. And you can smoke a whiskey, uh, normally a spirit. But what happens if you were to do it with mead? I really wanna put this to the test. So I'm putting this to the test with a carrot blossom boche, which a boche naturally has some smokiness to it. And I've already tasted this mead. In fact, I'll, I'll tell you what it tastes like before I smoke it. It's got like a natural richness to it. Not quite smoky, but there's a caramely note. I picked this one because it's like a whiskey. I mean, it's the most notable when it comes to maybe whiskey-esque vibes. So we're actually gonna smoke this mead with four different woods. We're gonna try it. We got a cherry wood, pecan wood, apple wood, and an oak wood. And the goal here is just to see how well this works. Is this worth investing? I think it was like 50 or 60 bucks. I'm not shouting out this brand. This was not a sponsored deal, nothing like that. In fact, I think there's lots of different brands that do these things, but I'm curious to see how this goes. So let me pour some mead into each one. Okay. Well, so here's how this works. Let me get you up close and personal. So here's what we do. We put this little topper on got a grate in it, as you can see. And what you do is you put this on top of here. And I've already tested this just to make sure it works. We take a little bit of this cherry wood. Well, this is the first one at least. We're gonna put just a few little pellets on. They say to not do too much because it actually makes it harder for it to smoke up. So we're gonna put just a little bit of these pellets into here. They give you a lot, surprisingly. Then take our butane lighter which this lighter did not come with butane. I actually had to um, buy butane separately. And then we add a little bit of butane. We kind of, I don't think my thing's on there right. There we go. Try again. Yeah, look at that. We're smoking up a little bit. <laughs> it's fun to say. So we're just gonna leave this on for a second and hope that all of that smoke that's in there is gonna permeate and, and work pretty well. Shouldn't be escaping. We don't necessarily want a flame. This also makes a cool effect when we take it off. So now the idea here is we can take this off of here and it kind of does a cool effect but also should have added some of that flavor into there. So I'm quickly gonna do that with these next four. I'm gonna let that one kinda continue its little moment there. Got pecan wood. All right, we did it. We got our glasses here and um, I did this over the course of a few minutes, so I kind of also wanted to test if the flavor would stay. So let's start with the first one, which is uh, pecan wood. It's hard to tell if it's the glass or the mead. Obviously the glass would gather some of that smoke from it being in there. It definitely adds a little flavor. Again, it's hard to say is this glass or not. It's super interesting. It does add that char, obviously the smokiness was not surprising here. It's really hard for me to say like, oh, this is pecan wood. Of course, I'm, I'm not that experienced in these various kinds of woods. So, you know, it's not bad. I need a bottle of water to be a palate cleanser. On to the cherry wood. Yeah, after that palate cleanser, we're back. It's very prominent. Still just a smoky flavor, not necessarily specific to say cherries. It really does add some fun flavors. Like it's custom to be like, well, I'm only gonna smoke 
this amount, but I wonder if you were able, able to organize it over, like in a way almost hot box your, your uh, plastic fermenter or something, which I'm sure is a bad idea. People can yell at me. It adds a lot of fun characters to this carrot blossom honey boche, which already has some caramel notes, but also some spiciness. I kind of like, and it could just be that it had a reset, but the cherry wood so far is more so my favorite. Next up, apple wood. You can see this, this is just oak wood is still somewhat smoking from sitting on the top. Smells about the same. I feel like there's a slight taste difference with this one, but it's super minor. Also the same fun little complexities, maybe a little more fruitiness coming from this, but again, I don't think that's from the wood. Could be, that's interesting. All right, last but not least, the one that's still sort of smoking. Inside is kind of see a little bit of the smoke coming off the top there. Regular old oak. That's oaky. That, that definitely smells way more just like campfire to me. Hmm. Whew. All right, here we go. Could be that I've had three things now with smoke flavor added. So one's not as strong, but I also think, again, I'm getting palate fatigue. It's definitely there. It's just different. You know, it, it is very much campfire. This is very campfire-y to me. Should you go out and find whatever brand you want to use of these, well, this is just a butane lighter, but smoker kits. Yeah, I think you should. I would recommend trying it. It's kind of fun. They're a little expensive though. I will say this whole set was like $60, but it does come with a lot of chips. So, and theoretically, I guess you could just buy a refill of chips. You wouldn't have to buy another one of these guys. So, I don't know, but super interesting concept. I'd be curious to see if anyone else has done this. And uh, if you do, let me know, because I'm curious what you think, maybe what woods you would try. I'm, I wanna try this with other things, with other meads. Obviously I did this with one. Let's say I made a sizer and I wanted to have a smoked sizer. I could take and fill up my glass and put this thing on top and have a whatever apple wood smoked sizer. Could be interesting. I am curious what you think. I hope you will leave a comment below. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed, but this has been an interesting test and I plan on doing way more of it in the future. Maybe not this specifically, but way more testing, maybe with smoke in other regards. So thanks. I don't know what you want to drink.